Right, welcome to Brain Fog Month. I'm chatting with Sarah Southgate. Sarah, do you want to tell us a little bit about what you do? And then we'll start talking about some brain fog information. Yeah, sure. So I'm a naturopath and I work with perimenopausal women to help them create their own wellness using nutrition, self-care and relaxation. Awesome. And all those things help us when our brain fog is high, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, they do. So let's start at the beginning. For people who aren't quite sure if they're experiencing brain fog, how would you describe what brain fog is? Uh, so it's, I mean, it's difficulty remembering things, right? So it's when you realise you've gone to the supermarket without a list, as you usually do, and you've got no idea what it was you were supposed to buy. And you've never had to write that stuff down before. Um, when suddenly, actually, you just don't know what you're doing. Um, you know, and telling your friend about a film, you can't remember the name. So it is that kind of, that's called your working memory. Um, and then there's also another element of brain fog, which is your processing speed um, also can slow down. Um, and it, you know, it, learning new stuff becomes more challenging, basically. And it can be such a weird feeling, can't it? And you do feel like a, a computer processor going, the information's there, but oh, the internet's on a go slow. Okay. But we, we, we kind of beat ourselves up about it. We're going, no, but I should be snappy and on it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and that's a really big deal. And I think, um, especially, um, you know, when, when we're going into perimenopause, you know, we're in our mid late forties and that is peak career time for women. Yeah. Um, and we're supposed to be on it like a car bonnet. We're not supposed to be kind of you know, feeling a bit vague today, uh, chaps, uh, and it and it puts more pressure on, um, yeah. and then you're anxious, and then that makes it worse. So, so yeah, so it's it's a big deal, and it's an invisible thing. It's an invisible thing. So nobody can know what's you know what's happening really. Um, yeah, so it can be quite stressful. Yeah. So how can we, how can we either overcome it or learn to deal with it or what what's the is there a way that we can completely overcome brain fog or is it a question of learning to have coping strategies well i think as with everything in in life it's a bit of both um and and also i think first of all to say that it actually we we know that it's worse when you first go into perimenopause and menopause your memory is worse but actually it does get better um so it's not going to be like this forever is the first thing to say and um, I mean one one thing that is really helpful is that if you when you're trying to recall a piece of information if you just do that with your eyes closed your recall will improve by 23 percent okay. so you know that's that's pretty good um, you know to if you're really struggling just like okay I'm going to close my eyes and it will come to me. Um, so, you know, there, there's a little tip. But um, really, it's about fueling your body right. Because if your body is running on empty, then so is your brain. You know, if your brain doesn't have the nutrients it needs, it's not going to work very well. Full stop, yeah. really. And, and perimenopause massively gives us a smack around the face about all of that, doesn't it? It goes, yeah, in your 20s and 30s, you could get away with this. But you can't now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it, it's like, oh, my body is not mine anymore. It never used to do this. Really is that sense, isn't it? Um, so, um, so yeah, so I think, I mean, for me personally, I'm 46, 46, yeah, old enough to not be sure how old I am. Um, and um, definitely thinking, oh, my God, my memory is definitely going. Um, or I'm definitely actually no sorrow. This is, this is perimenopause. So I've got, um, there's lots of apps you can get that are brain trainers. Um, and I've got one, it's called Peak. And it's actually quite fun. So you get to like move turtles around in the sea, avoiding plastic bags and eating jellyfish. Um, uh, you know, there's, uh, which is really cool. There's like word searches and maths, uh, which sounds a bit scary, but it's not, it's quite nice. Um, so it's, it's a fun way of improving all types of memory function. Um, so I'm actually really enjoying that. And it feels like I'm doing something as well, uh, which is nice when you're worried about something. 
but it's funny isn't it i think a lot of us watching this and and listening will will we'll go god do you know what i really remember my mum just having a point when she couldn't function without a list yeah oh my god i'm her suddenly <laughs> yeah oh my god i am my mother yeah yeah, so, so in I terms of stripping off <laughs> in random places because <laughs> I'm hot flush. <laughs> oh, it's terrifying. Um, <laughs> so in terms of what we're eating, how can we support our brain with with our food? How can we support our brain with our food? That is a brilliant question. And so part of it is stuff like the Mediterranean diet. So lots of fish. Uh, especially the oily fish, so that is salmon, mackerel, sardines, herring, anchovies, um, because they got the good fats in, which is, you know, was key brain food. If you don't like fish, you can supplement with a fish oil or and or you can have one tablespoon of seeds twice a day. So sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, sprinkle a tablespoon on your lunch, sprinkle a tablespoon on your dinner. Um, so they will provide the raw materials that you need. Um, they also help with blood sugar balance, which is really critical for your whole health. Um, and um, it's one of my really big passions because a lot of people haven't heard of blood sugar balance and blood sugar balance affects your whole body, um, including your brain and concentration. Um, so when you're fueling your body right and your blood sugar is balanced, your brain works basically. And it affects your energy, your weight loss, your, you know, your mood, loads of things. It's really exciting. I feel like we could dig really deep into that, but I think we probably ought not to, because otherwise we'll be here for weeks. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, absolutely. But it's definitely, maybe we should do a blood sugar thing because it's so important. But yeah, yeah definitely. Let's, let's, before we forget what we're talking about... <laughs> <laughs> it's just they focused yeah. on the one topic hey <laughs> yeah 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 absolutely um, awesome. so eating water intake water intake is hugely important for your brain um you know dehydration that like hangover feeling you know it feels like your brain has shrunk inside your skull I and mean, if you don't drink enough water that you know that also can dehydrate your brain it's not going to work very well um so water is really important and sleep as well um, and I know that is a challenge for a lot of perimenopausal ladies. Um, and if you're tired, your brain doesn't function properly. It's just struggling, basically. Yeah. And, and without us going too far into the sleep thing, because obviously that's a whole separate topic, are there any little things that people can do if they're struggling to get decent sleep and that they know that the lack of sleep is impacting their concentration? Yeah, so uh, a good bedtime routine, so going upstairs at the same time, you know, doing your, taking your makeup off, cleaning your teeth, all of those things, so you're setting cues around bedtime, so your body starts to know it's time to wind, wind down, um, and um, if you are the kind of person whose mind goes like that, um, then before you go upstairs to bed or before you, you know, go into your bedroom, then write a list of everything that your brain is holding, um, because it will say, this is really important, Emily, we need to not forget this. Um, and it will wake you up with those things. So, you know, by writing it down, you process the information, you take it out of your brain, your brain goes, that's fine. We've dealt with that now. Um, so very simple things like list making can be really, really helpful. Um, and help with the not forgetting things as well. And I'm sure we've all done it. We, you know, just as you're about to drop off you to sleep, you think, mustn't forget such and such. And it's really clear, but you can't quite be bothered to get out of bed to write it down because you're so nearly asleep. And then you wake up at three in the morning, you go, oh, there was something really important. <laughs> it was really, it was, oh no, it was really, really important. Panic. Like, yeah. 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 yeah yeah and and but that all your know, anxiety makes of anxiety about memory loss or you know brain fog makes the brain fog worse um so yeah so it is really getting you know getting that quality sleep um being kind to yourself when you're tired and remembering actually this is happening because i'm tired 
uh, rather than, oh my God, I'm, you know, I've got Alzheimer's, <clears throat> which I think is where we often go. Yeah. 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 And I think there's one other, one other thing I'm just going to sort of bring in about managing brain fog is actually kind of having a bit of a sense of humour about it because the more we focus on it being a bad thing, the more it becomes a stressful thing and the, and it self-exacerbates, doesn't it? Um, ah. Whereas I think if we can manage to find some humour in it, in whatever way is right for each of us individually, that can hugely alleviate the pressure of it. Yeah, I agree. And one of the studies I read uh, recently was talking about how having a negative you know, being negative about it makes the brain fog worse. Um, I can imagine. Yeah, you're absolutely right there. Awesome. So lots of fish, try and get yeah. some sleep and yeah. find a way for yourself to deflect it with humour and get an app for brain training. Yeah, and uh, the seeds. Don't forget, sunflower oh, seeds sesame seeds all really good brain food and water water always water yeah thank you very much sarah okay no problem